everyone welcome back to curious bites this video is for those who are preparing for k 2025 or k 2026 or even those who want to prepare for gate in future and want to know what are the subjects in gate exam and in which order to prepare those subjects this video is not for you if you have already joined a coaching institute with live classes in that case, you should follow the order in which subjects are taught in your coaching. But if you are studying on your own or you have joined a coaching with recorded lectures, then this video is going to be very useful for you. On the same lines, if you are preparing on your own and you would like us to make more content for your preparation, please let us know in the comment section below. If there are decent number of people, we'll increase our time and effort we are giving for it and we'll make sure to make more content such as question practice sessions, resources and any other difficulties you could face in your preparation. Gate syllabus for any subject consists of three main sections. There's an aptitude and English section, there's a mathematics section, and there's a technical part. The technical part is stream dependent. For these sections, aptitude is nearly 15%, mathematics is 10 to 15%, and the remaining 70 to 75% is the technical part. The best order among these is to cover the technical part first, all the subjects in the technical part, then the mathematics part, and then finally at the end, aptitude and English. Aptitude should be done at the end because it requires memorization of a lot of tricks to solve the questions quickly. So if you do it at the end, things will be fresh in your mind. Another point is aptitude does not have anything new to learn. There are no new concepts which require time to settle in your brain. Now, you should do mathematics also near the end of your preparation because again, mathematics require a lot of practice, a lot of formulas. And if you do maths in the start of your preparation, till the time you'll appear for gate exam, your speed of solving questions will go down. But if you do it near the end, it will be fresh and you'll be able to solve questions fast. The first section of your preparation should be the entire technical part because it requires a lot of new concepts which will take time to settle in your brain. Therefore, you should start with the technical portion, then mathematics and finally aptitude. Now, let's discuss in which order you should do all the subjects in the technical part. So there's no fixed order in which you need to do the subjects. You can do it in any order. There are just some dependencies like compiler design should be done after theory of computation. Data structures and algorithms should be done together where programming data structures should be done first and then algorithms should be done. But if you are preparing on your own and you want some guidance, I'll give you my strategy on which order you should follow to cover the subjects along with the reason for that. You can follow the same and you're free to modify it according to what suits you. The technical part for gate computer science consists of the following subjects. There's programming data structures and algorithms. There's theory of computation and compiler design. There's DBMS and OS computer organization and digital logic. And finally, there's computer networks. So our suggestion is the first thing which you should cover is programming data structures followed by algorithms. This is because programming and data structures will help you get a hands on on programming. If you are new to programming, you should start with programming. And even if you know a little bit of programming, you should start with these subjects. These will be very helpful to build your logic of computer science. So if you're starting now, that is in April, you'll take around 1.5 month to cover these two subjects. That is, you should be done with programming data structures and algorithms by mid of May. Next, you should focus on digital logic and computer organization and architecture. From these subjects, digital logic is a little shorter subject, while computer organization is a little lengthier comparatively. For these, again, you'll need around 1.5 month. So you'll be done by these by end of June. Next, you should do computer networks. Computer networks is a lengthy subject. It will take one month. So it should be done by July end. 
for me when i studied computer networks for the first time it was not at all clear to me but when i revised it again and again then it became more clear therefore i would suggest to do computer networks at this time because in the cyclic revisions it will become clear and the concepts will settle in your mind but if you do it at the end it could be that some of you are not able to understand it next you should do operating systems followed by dbms these subjects are also a little lengthy but you should cover it in one month that is by august end this is because by this time you should increase the number of hours you are giving for gate preparation from august through december you should give more hours for preparing for gate because your momentum has also been built till now right so you can increase the hours next in the series you can do theory of computation followed by compiler design theory of computation is a little lengthier compared to compiler design you will take around 1.5 month to cover these two subjects so this should be done by mid october finally at the end you can do engineering and discrete mathematics again this will take around 1.5 month so you'll be done with the entire syllabus by november end this entire syllabus completion till november end should include solving previous year questions once you are done with a subject should include making short notes once you are done with a subject and there should be continuous practice and continuous revision as well now if you are done with your syllabus by november end you'll have two full months to practice some aptitude and to revise whatever you have studied revision is very important and it should be given proper two months that is december and january along with that in these two months you'll also be focusing on full length test series which you have to start in august only an alternative plan could be that instead of doing entire maths together from mid october through november as it could get tedious you could do maths along with all the other technical subjects on weekend or something doing one one topic at a time but the goal should be to complete the syllabus by end of november another point to note is that let's say you take a few days extra for a subject and you are lagging according to the timeline then you should try to give more hours for the next subject and cover it faster and come back on the schedule that is the final goal of completing the syllabus by november should be definitely achieved so that is it for today hope this sequence of subjects is helpful for your gate preparation if you have any other queries you can put in comment sections below and we'll make sure to reply to all of them don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks on cracking the gate exam until next time stay curious and keep progressing